Shalom, Mishpaka. Shalom, family. And this is your host, Brian Anthony. Binya with Beyond Babbitt reporting for duty. Your host, Brian Anthony. Binya with Beyond Babbitt reporting for duty. Hello and welcome, family. Shalom, 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 shalom. Welcome to another day, to another episode of Beyond Babbitt with your host, Brian Anthony Binya, reporting to you live from behind enemy lines, reporting to you live from the United States of Israel. So we're in our um, the week of Unleavened Bread, heading up to the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And today, guys, we're going to talk about no flesh will be saved, will no flesh be saved. And I understand that a lot more now, guys, a lot better. Seeing the events that are taking place, it only makes sense. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go to Matthew 24. And we're just going to go through here. Everybody's read this a million times. But we're going to put some new eyes on it, fresh eyes, fresh understanding with um, knowing how the events of the present are taking place, not of the past. So I, I was um, watching some pastors and there's even Congress people who know that this is the mark, right? But the quote unquote pastors, they're, you know, they're still saying when the mark gets here, People are making fun of it because there are people there. There are, it's trending now, uh, from my understanding, as of today, the 30th of March, 2021. The term, the mark of the beast is trending. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I don't expect the pastor to get it because pastor ain't coming. Pastor ain't going. But at least the, the citizens, the, the sheep, um, understand it and the wicked are going to be wicked still so they're making fun you know you had those who who took the mark and they said well i took the first batch of the mark today and i'll take the second half of the mark you know they're they're making fun of it making mockery like what peter said scoffers right in the last days yeah saying where is the promise of his coming yeah and then these quote-unquote preachers and pastors and christians or whatever they was whatever they call themselves they still didn't recognize. They still think about, yeah, in about 10 or 15 years. And this is this, just think when it really gets here. They so, you know, oh, it burns me up, guys. I want to call them stupid so bad. I mean, that's um, that's not a nice word, but it's, it's true. Getting still. I mean, how could you claim you have the Ruach Akadish and you can't see this? You can't see the forest for the trees, you know? It's like when Yahshua showed up on earth in the flesh. They, they, they didn't recognize him. They knew all the prophecies. These Pharisees, these scribes, these Sadducees. They knew all the prophecies. Knew all the law, knew everything. Yeah, but they were like, oh, that ain't him. That's Joseph's son. Dummy, stupid. Oh, Father, forgive me. <laughs> woo Yeah, it just burns me up. But they, you know. The wicked are going to be wicked still. I just hate that, you know, that the righteous can't see it. That's why it's like, it's like a drop to a wave. Yeah, that's how many are going to be saved. The rest, the rest is on the broad road. We can see it so clearly now. I got a text from one of my brothers, right, from the um, um, ex-church member, should I say. And um, he... Um, he sent me the scripture about, I forgot what he sent me, to be honest with you. Something from Isaiah 66, I believe. But um, I, I was thinking about him and I sent him back. And I was like, Shalom, brother. Good to hear from you. I hope you and your family are blessed and doing well. And I said, I also like to send my condolences to you because I heard Pastor so and so took the mark, he and his wife, and may be influencing others to do the same thing. I said, stay strong, brother. And he did not reply. I started to send them that, uh, that, that scripture that said that he, uh, God did not give us the spirit of fear, the spirit of power, sound mind. 
And then I started to uh, send him this one too. About no flesh being saved. But he did not reply. And I started to think, wait a minute. What if he's already taken the mark? Then he's going to think I'm crazy. Yeah, if the pastor took it, everybody else who's still affiliated, they're, they're taking it. They're going to take it. So as I rode out this morning to go handle business, I, there's a Christian radio station that I listen to sometimes. I, I really don't, don't even listen to music that much anymore because it's um, so distasteful now. It's, it's, the devil has taken over all genres of music. Hasatan. And uh, so I was listening to a gospel station. I was, you know, and I was listening to some of the songs and I'm like, yeah, a lot of those guys, I was like, you know, most Christian singers are all dead. You know, all the ones that, you know, and, uh, and most of them die ugly deaths. So sickness and disease and had a lot of stuff in their life that was hidden. And, but I was listening, you know, to some of the songs. I'm like, wow, that's weak. And uh, they lacked understanding in those days. You know, I'm talking about from music from the, probably from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and probably even the 2000s. They didn't have the understanding that we have right now. And a lot of the things they were saying wasn't even agreeing with what was in Scripture, but they were trying to give the most high Yah praise. And uh, the DJ who was playing it, he came on sounding all nice and happy and friendly. Yeah, da, 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 da. And, you know, and he started talking about the mark. He was like, well, let me say the vax. And he was like, yeah, they're trying to, da, 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 to make manda mandated everybody take it. He said, I can't give you medical advice to tell you to take it, but but you should go and take it. I've already had my first one and I'm going to get my second one today. And uh, just pray about it. And, and I was like, pray about it? And you still go and take it? No, no. And speaking of prayer about it, one more story. Uh, there's an elderly uh, lady, I know, neighbor of mine for, and she, basically she's been around my entire life. And, um, and I hadn't spoken to her about it, but I have a reliable source who told me the conversation that they had. And uh, first the conversation, uh, maybe a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I don't know how long ago it was. It was about the mark. And she said, oh, no, I haven't taken it. Nobody over here is taking it. She said, um, I was scheduled to take it uh, February 8th or something like that. And I prayed about it. And she said the people called her and canceled it and rescheduled. Then she said, well, that was my answer right there. I'm not going to take it. People reschedule. And they had a conversation within a, you know, within the last week or so. Within the last week. And she said, Yeah, I went ahead and took it when they rescheduled me. I'm like, wow, man. I mean, this thing is frustrating, guys. She said, I went ahead and took the first one. And I'm like, boy, boy, boy. You just said you prayed about it and you got your answer. And you still took it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy so let's get to the text guys Matthew 24 we're going to start at um, verse 3 here and it reads like this let me see if I make sure I can see it okay there we go and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Let that sink in for a minute. You see what they were asking him? The end of the world. The sign of thy coming and the end of the world. Okay. Verse 4. And Yeshua answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Satan is the deceiver of the whole world. Verse 
Verse five, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. These are the pastors, guys. Woe unto the pastors. Woe unto you pastors. Jeremiah 23. For you have scattered my sheep. You've scattered my people and have not visited them. That's why pastor ain't coming. That's why pastor ain't going. Not one pastor. I take that back. GOCC. Shout out to GOCC again. Only quote unquote pastor out there, period. In the entire world that recognizes that this is the mark of the beast. <laughs> and the only one bold enough to say it openly. I'm not a pastor, guys. I'm not. I, but I do my best. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm filling in. I'm a substitute. I'm filling in wherever the most high yard needs me. I know what my position is. I'm a king. I'm a priest. I'm a prophet. I'm a judge. Yeah, I'm not a pastor. But hey, somebody got to do it. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And many, I'm sorry, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Guys, China just amassed 200 um, ships across from Taiwan. And these are their, uh, these are not their military ships. These are like militia ships, fishing ves vessels equipped with armory. You know, the cheap way out. But you, it's still going to require force to stop them. You know what I'm saying? They're they saving the good weapons for when the U.S. get over there. <laughs> and uh, China's also just done a deal with Saudi Arabia, with Iran, and with Israel. The West, the West time is up, guys. They're, they're, st they're still trying to put China in as the new power, but Israel is the new power. China won't make it. Babylon won't make it. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. It's coming. Along with the, uh, the ice, the snow, the rain, and the frigate, the ship, the, the evergreen that got stuck. That's delayed everything for over a month. We got famines coming to the world. So in other words, guys, we, we we're going from March Madness to April Fools. Uh, and I still might do a show with that title. We're going from March Madness to April Fools. Because they're saying that the financial collapse is scheduled to hit. Somewhere around April 1st. You have big hedge fund investors, hedge fund managers warning, banks warning, declaring bankruptcy, bankruptcy, uh, counseling people's credit. The, 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 the elite hedge, hedge fund managers, they're selling all of their stock to the tune of $10 billion plus silver and gold just took a hit and there's no supply. Oh, yeah. Verse six. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. Yeah, diseases, sicknesses. We're here now. And earthquakes. Y'all don't see what's happening. Not only earthquakes, but volcanoes erupted all over the earth right now. In divers places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. It ain't over yet. <laughs> if they ask him about the end, he's telling them about the beginning of sorrows. Y'all thought it was over? We got to go into the wilderness. <laughs> uh, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations 
of all ethnos. For my name's sake. That's Israel. We hated by everybody. Especially now that we're returning to the top. The, the all nations um, joined in together. You know. Yeah, they, 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 they all were in on it. To keep us at the bottom. But that's no longer so. So. Um, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And the hate is outrageous right now, guys. The hate is outrageous. We are in the beginnings. And many false prophets shall arise. I'm sorry, not a rise, rise. Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's why that's why Yahshua said this. There's two, two things, two laws out of the 613 that if you get these two right, you're going to get all the others right. Love the, the Lord thy God. You love Yahuwah with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, with all that, that with, thy, with all that is within you. Give it all you got. And then love thy brother as thyself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Because love covers a multitude of sins. Verse 11. And many false prophets, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. All them false prophets. Yeah, out there, all of them. Oh, yeah, Trump gonna win. Every last one was wrong, except one. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You know, people going around saying they saved now. <laughs> and then they take the mark of the beast. <laughs> you didn't endure, did you? All that righteousness is for naught. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that it shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. It's going to be a witness against them or either a witness for them. And this is this being rightly divided now that it's in the hands of Israel. Not in the hands of pork chop, pastor. Pass the pork chop in them. And then shall the end come. Okay. Okay. So the end is about to come. We still don't know how many years even he can say. Okay. 15. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea Flee into the mountains. Okay. You see that? Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Verse 16. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days. Are we in the last days, guys? Are we? Because if we are, why hasn't anybody flee, fled into the mountains? Why are they all still happy to be city dwellers, working for the devil, neighbors with the devil, attending school and church with the devil, going to the supermarket with the devil? Why haven't you fled into the mountains? Why haven't, why don't you even have plans to flee into the mountains? Have you been deceived? Have you taken the mark? Okay. Verse 17 again. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes and woe unto them. I almost said woe unto them pastors. <laughs> but yeah, woe to the pastors. Verse 19. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. 
but pray ye that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation. Is this great tribulation? Ain't nobody fled to the mountains. You're supposed to flee to the mountains to, to give the indication that it's great tribulation. Ain't nobody fled yet. What part of the world have I, I ain't seen it. If you know where it is, drop a comment down below. Give me an email or something. Let me know. Drop something in the comments. Let me know where they flee, flee it at, where they fleeing from or where they fleeing to. Ain't nobody fled yet. Is this the great tribulation? Are we still getting warmed up? I know the mark is already here. So you know what that means? It's time to flee. It's time to go into the mountains, guys. It's time to go into the wilderness, into the desert, into the mountains. Verse 21, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor shall ever be. Yeah, because they're they're getting legislation now to make the uh, passports, different states. The legislation is going to make the COVIDs. COVID is not a disease. I've been telling you guys that for a year now. They're making the COVIDs, their certificate of vaccination IDs. And uh, Florida is fighting against it. Florida is making laws uh, that's, that's going to make it illegal to do such a thing. So, you know, they're coming for Florida. I've already told you that anyway. You know, they're coming for Texas because Texas is the first one to open up 100 percent. And everyone else is following. I just heard I, I caught the uh, the clip of, of the UFC fight. And Dana White was saying this was the last fight where there's no fans. So wherever he wherever they plan on fighting is going to be opened up. So that, that, that's why I told you guys there's not going to be any more shutdowns or lockdowns like the last one. This one. Whoever takes the mark, you get the green pass. You get you get the green pass. And whoever doesn't take the mark, you are the one that's locked out and shut down. Just like it says in the book. Go figure. <laughs> the book is accurate after all. Go figure. <laughs> Verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Think about it, guys. How many people you know done took the mark? It's not that everybody's going to be dead. And when he's saying no flesh should be saved, when you read Revelation 14, he who take the mark going to burn. They ain't, they ain't going. They ain't getting into the kingdom of God. And all the pastors is leading their children, leading their sheep right to the slaughter. Past the pork chop them. Even the ones who call themselves in the truth, Hebrew Israelites, they leading theirs to the slaughter too. The whole world agrees on this one thing. Everybody has to take this thing. <laughs> Go figure. And they and they, and the, and, the, and the spaceships are in the sky. Hasatan is here. Yeah, the mark of the beast is here. The anti is here. So he's gonna have to shorten these days, man. It's gonna be very few who not gonna take this thing. A drop to a wave. A drop to a wave. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for joining. Tuko Pomoja, we are together in Swahili. We stand together. Stand strong, guys. Stand strong. Because we're looking at the next few days, weeks, months. World War Three. Financial collapse. And the forced mark on the entire world's population.
This is the Great Tribulation. Shout out to all those who are going to flee. We have plans to flee. Making preparations to flee. Hallelujah. Lord willing, see you in the wilderness. May the Lord have a blessing on the readers, hearers, and doers. Most importantly, the doers of his holy word. And now and forevermore, let us all say, Amani, Imanu. Faith, baby. Amen. Hallelujah. Peace and blessings. Love y'all. Till the next time. Shalom, shalom.